Good morning, everyone. If I could ask you to take your seats and we'll get underway. Great to see you this morning. On behalf of the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research, I'd like to welcome you all to today's symposium, Social Identity, the Creative Power of Groups to Improve Community Well-Being. It's nice to see some familiar faces in the room, and particularly from our last visit to Edmonton as part of the University of Alberta's Festival of Ideas, with a CIFAR senior fellow who is part of the same research program as the researchers we will hear from today, senior fellow Eldar Shafir. And I'd also like to welcome all of those of you who are joining us by webcast and those of you who have traveled to be with us today in the room. For those of you who are new to CIFAR, let me take one minute to introduce our institute. For over 32 years, CIFAR has been building global research networks that bring together outstanding researchers from across Canada and around the world to address important questions and challenges. About half of our researchers come from across Canada, including leading institutions here in Alberta, the University of Alberta, Lethbridge, and Calgary. And the remainder come from institutions in over 16 countries around the world, and we're delighted to have two of our fellows from Australia here with us this morning. Our research aims to improve human health, transform technology, build stronger societies, and lead to a sustainable Earth. And all of our programs ask important, fundamental, and we believe world-changing questions. Recently, CIFAR has made a new commitment to ensure that the insights and research findings that are developing through our programs make their way to the people like the people in this room today who are best positioned to act upon those insights. And it is this new effort that brings us here this morning. So today we are launching what we're calling Change Makers, a national dialogue bringing together research fellows with leaders from business, the not-for-profit, and public sectors. Our hope is to inspire new ways of thinking and acting in an environment that is conducive to catalyzing new ideas networking, and sharing ways to move forward around complex issues. So this morning, you're going to hear from three CIFAR fellows who will share inf insights from their research into social identity. They are part of a program that has gained worldwide attention for showing how civic engagement, strong social connections, good health, high-quality governments are greater determinants of a society's well-being than its economic wealth. And most important, they are here to have a conversation with three community leaders and with all of you to see how together we can bring about positive social change. So I'd like to thank our CIFAR fellows and our community leaders for being with us this morning. And I'd also like to thank our many supporters. CIFAR is generously supported by the Government of Alberta, Canada, British Columbia, Ontario, and Quebec. And we have many Canadian and international partners as well as foundations corporations, and individuals. And our event today has been generously supported by the RBC Foundation and Crabtree Foundation, and as well as our event partner, the Alberta Centre for Child, Family, and Community Research. Without them, the discussions today would not have been possible. So I'm going to ask that you please watch for the next symposium in the series, which will be held in Vancouver in the spring. And we've been fortunate to be talking with the BC Ministry of Social Development and Social Innovation and the BC Partners for Social Impact. And then we are planning a third event in Toronto uh, with the United Way Toronto. And all of those will be webcast and more details are to come. So as you can hear, we do feel very fortunate as we take on this new effort and this new initiative to find partners who are leaders in the social innov innovation community across Canada and really no more fortunate than here in Edmonton, where we have partnered with the Alberta Centre. And I'm very happy to turn the podium over to Robin Blackadder, President and CEO of the Alberta Centre. And Robin and the Alberta Centre team, Kathy Scott, Amy Castor and Terry Hansen have been instrumental in helping to connect, to connect CIFAR to you and to the community of Edmonton and in making today happen. So Robin, please join me. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Good morning to those of you on the webcast. Um, as, she, as Rebecca mentioned, we at the Centre are thrilled to partner with CIFAR 
Canadian Institute for Advanced Research, um, who are, are well known worldwide with the innovation and the work that they've done. So it's a great privilege for us to be involved today. And, and just, I hope this is the beginning of a relationship. And I was just saying as a sidebar comment, what a good way to test a new relationship is organize an event together where one group is uh, remote and the other one is local. Uh, most of our role, of course, was to try to ensure that we had the, the local logistics in place, including uh, folks that are, have been invited, the webcasting, but also importantly to match up with the community leaders um, that we have here today. It was, uh, was not hard having said that because there's so many community leaders that we could have chosen, but we're very excited to have those who, who agreed right away and, and very, were very, very responsive in the short sort of time that we gave them to, to organize uh, this, this event. Um, so for us, it's important as well that community leaders have that opportunity to talk about the real world, what's been going on within Alberta with, with the social context. And so very excited uh, about that opportunity to bring together the, the research and the fellow uh, fellows today to have that conversation. Uh, we are very excited about the response to the invitations as well. Uh, we have quite a few people on webcast and many of you in the room. Quite a diverse group indeed. We have uh, individuals from academic institutions, government, not-for-profit organizations, community agencies and, and other um, corporations, businesses. And, and this is an opportunity for us to put into action what we have always said is important is to bring these diverse voices and perspectives together to share that knowledge. Also in the room I wanted to make special note of the fact that we have a member of our board of directors Bev Brennan with us today um, and her husband John and we very much appreciate her support and our board as well in terms of uh, supporting us in moving towards innovative approaches such as this. Um, and I also wanted to encourage those of you on the webcast uh, there are ways of being able to have conversations with us. I know it's kind of difficult when you're, you're remote, but we do have the technology chat rooms at the bottom of your screen. You can add your comments, and then there's also uh, an opportunity to provide uh, questions to the speakers. When I first learned of this event, I actually was meeting with Rebecca at the Alberta Family Wellness uh, Accelerating Innovation Symposium um, uh, in, in the fall, and I was immediately excited and jumped right in with both feet and offered to help and to, to, to join. And so for those of us, that, those of you who are not familiar with the center, we have been working on developing an approach that's very collaborative such as this, working with multiple partners, stakeholders across various sectors and disciplines, and our aim is to develop capacity, knowledge, skill in both the researchers, policymakers, communities and families that we connect with and we broker. We're very um, privileged, privileged to have a great support of Alberta Human Services. The majority of our funding comes from that department, but we work very collaboratively with other government departments. We have five research themes, early childhood development, middle childhood and youth well-being, family capacity building, community capacity building, and, and tracking long-term outcomes. And we've been very fortunate to in terms of the tracking long-term outcomes, in terms of government uh, services, we've been fortunate to have uh, the opportunity to work in collaboration with the ministries of Health, Education, Advanced Ed, and Innovation, Justice, Aboriginal Relations, and Human Services to develop the Child and uh, Youth Data Lab. And some of the folks from that initiative are here today. Uh, we are working on a longitudinal study that will be tracking data, linked data across those ministries. And we are also very um, interested in sharing with you and having more sessions of discussion around how that data might inform some of this, uh, the research underway. I also notice a number of you may have an interest in, in, uh, in housing and homelessness, and we have been in a partnership with the Alberta Interagency Council on Homelessness and Housing, and have recently developed a research strategy. Um, very exciting uh, opportunity, and, and we have tried to link that the best as we can to the 10-year plan to end homelessness. The unique needs of vulnerable populations are very important to the center, and today's event is, is totally in line with what we're thrilled to, to be part of. I'm very excited that uh, CIFAR wanted to open up their first of the series in, in Alberta, in Edmonton in particular. I'm looking forward to the presentations, the participation. I encourage all of you webcast or in the room to, to get right into the conversations, to build on your knowledge you already have, and bring in the, the new evidence and research that we hear. Um, and so now I'm going to ask um, our facilitator for the day, uh, Tara Hansen, to, to come up and talk about uh, a few things that we need to, to, in terms of facilitation. Tara is the Executive Director of Business and Strategic Partnerships for the Centre. 
She has a very strong experience with developing and leadership developing many of our strategies, actually including the uh, housing and homelessness research strategy, has had quite a focus on child and youth, uh, mental health, uh, fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. She supports our Aboriginal Advisory Committee, very interested in the concept and the processes that blend Western approaches and, and traditional Aboriginal knowledge and research. And, um, has been building her skill in facilitation and MC over the last while, and so we are in very good hands, I'm sure. <laughs>